Senator David Gowan here. Welcome to another Gavel In with Gowan. I hope everyone is doing well and that you've been able to cope with this heat. Here's a few updates from the past couple of weeks. Last week, Senate Republicans released our legislative highlights report for this past session. The document outlines some of the major accomplishments Republicans achieved for Arizona. I encourage you to take the time to read through it and learn more about some of the policies that will impact you, your family, and our communities. This recap of our legislation provides deeper insight into issues impacting our state that you may not see covered fairly in local media. You can download this 50-page booklet and learn more by visiting Arizona SenateRepublicans.com. That's azsenaterepublicans.com. And click on the Accomplishments tab. Next, the state's fiscal year 2022 ended on June 30th. Based on preliminary data, FY 2022 general fund revenue posted extremely strong growth during the year, increasing by 17% above the prior year. The total level of FY 2022 general fund revenues ended up at more than $16 billion, an amount that is $257 million above the recently enacted budget forecast. The enacted budget assumed an FY 2022 ending balance of $4.51 billion based on the $257 million of revenue collection gains on the $108 million of spending loss. The FY 2022 balance is now projected to be $4.66 billion. This FY 2022 ending balance estimate will likely change as we receive additional spending information and revenue adjustments during the state's book closing process. The preliminary ending balance of $4.66 billion far exceeds the state's previous record cash balance, which was $957 million at the end of FY 2019. This is a result of smart, conservative policies that allow Arizonans to flourish and continue to have a strong economy. Lastly, the primary election is coming up here in Arizona on August 2nd. You will be able to go to your nearest polling place and cast your vote unless you have already done so by early ballot. Voting is crucial and it is a sacred right we have. The kind of life you want for yourself and your future generations is entirely up to you. Voting gives you the opportunity to advocate for causes you believe in, such as financing for roads, border policies, police, and many other issues. So take the time to consider what is best for your life. The people who turn out to vote are the ones who decide the outcomes of these elections. Spend some time learning about the candidates and the initiatives. If you don't cast a vote, someone else will decide for you. Voting gives us all power. Support the candidates and initiatives on the ballot that will benefit your family, your neighbors, your state, and our great country. Some may not know how important voting is, while others don't even have the right to vote. So make an informed decision on who and what to vote for so others don't make it for you. Make sure your voice is heard. Vote on August 2nd. See you soon. Until then, I'm gaveling out. God bless.